<laughs> anyway, my first guest is a very interesting uh, man we, we read about last week, and he's 76 years old, and for the past 45 years, he has been in charge of the Marching Ducks. That's right. At the Peabody Hotel in Memphis, Tennessee. I've seen them. I've been there and seen them. Really? Very well, they th think I'm joking. Would you welcome, please, Mr. Edward D. Pembroke and his ducks. Don't disturb you the guests. You don't want to go in? Mr. Costa could do a show if you don't go in. <laughs> Please get in. <laughs> this man can't walk up that way. Come on, that water. Come on. Come on. That's all right. You ain't going no further. Come on. Prime F. Osborne. You can say that. <laughs> you can say that. Come on, over, Mr. Come on over, Mr. Pembroke. Now, it may just go in and grab a spot. That's all right. <laughs> well, you, you own your own now. <laughs> How are you? How are you? you? What, uh... <laughs> hey, where are you going? <laughs> Check out the audience. I don't believe him. Do you, I would, too. Do you think it's because... Uh, do I call you uh, Mr. Pembroke or Edward? Uh, Edward, either one you want to say. All right, well, it's up to you. I've been called lots of ways. Yeah. What, uh... <laughs> do you think it's because... The ducks are in a different situation tonight than they normally are that... Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And they're trying to coat too, see? Uh-huh. Now, wh what exactly, uh... What exactly is your job at the, uh, Peabody Hotel? Train ducks. <laughs> well, you, you, can, you, can, you can start to work on these three right away. <laughs> are these new to the act, or have you, have you been... I've had about a month. I used to keep them four months. Yeah. Now, somebody said you normally have five, five ducks. Right. How come we only have th three tonight? But are you alone the only could bring was three. That's all you could bring on the, on the plane? That's what oh, I say. We've got a cage. The cameraman only had three. Oh, and these are the three winners of the trip. <laughs> <laughs> I should take it back. No. How long have you been at this? Did I say 45 years? 45 years. Yeah. Where are you from originally? Mr. Reading, Pennsylvania. Is that right? Yes, sir. Somebody said you were... Somebody said to me you were very young, you, uh, you, you work with a, a circus or carnival? Circus. circus. Yeah, how, how old were you? Me? 76. You're 76 now? Yeah. When did you go with the circus? Oh, when I was nine years old. Yeah, and what, what, what do they call it? A, a, car, a carny? Is that carny. It? And what's a carny do for people? Well, just most anything you want of when you start working, go from show to show. Yeah. Loaf around, do little odds and end jobs. Odd jobs and so on? Like how long did you do that? Oh, I do that all the winter. In the summertime, I worked for the circus. Yeah. How are they but doing out there? Huh? But you get branded as a carny. Yeah. And just kind of a, kind of a floater, they call yeah, them, just moving around all over the world. You got huh? the idea. Yeah. Now, how did this come about, uh, training these highly trained animals? <laughs> <laughs> well, it come about it because the Bells wanted me to train them. Yeah. See, the Peabody was open for so many years. Mm -hmm. Then they closed, the Bells bought it. And they would, would, when I went to retire, they said, well, you can have the ducks. Now, is this a little uh, a program then that they do every they day? They do every day. Yeah, it says you were, you were down. Yeah, about 5.30, isn't it, Edward, in the afternoon? Yeah. They take them upstairs, they Six go up to the roof. Uh-huh. Well, it's a ritual. They come out of the pond and they march over to the elevator and up they go. And then they march back. Uh-huh. How long, uh... <laughs> How long does it take you to train them to do this? You say you change your ducks every four months. <laughs> what? Every four months. Every four Why do you change them every four months? We're between two restaurants. Beg your pardon? We're between two restaurants. Between two We're restaurants? Eating places, yeah. And then the ducks, you mean, go? No, the ducks come out of the company, clip their wings, bring a veterinary doctor with them. Yeah. See if there's anything wrong with them, they may keep them four months. Yeah, what I'm trying to find out is, why do you keep them four months? Well, then what happens to them? They get too fat, too wobbly around, eat lots. Uh-huh, I see. Do you, do you like to eat duck? Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> sure. 
I'll take this down. Do, do you think they somehow sense that tonight? Uh, I, I think so. Yeah. Me with this persuade in my hand, yeah. too, you know. You ever been married? Me? Once. Yeah? Have you ever thought of getting remarried again? No, no. <laughs> Seven, six years, no married? Well, I mean, why not? It's never too late. Maybe too late for you is too late for me. Yeah. <laughs> I would have done better with Huey, Dewey, and Louie, though. I wouldn't get no better with Margaret. Yeah. Come on. Uh, Come on. That one duck is leaning a little bit. Well, uh, that's the male duck. He's a little tired. Normally they go to the go to the here, go to the pond. They yeah, oh, they're coming they come. on up. Here, here they, they come. come. Come on. Yeah, there they are. They're come just on. they're just getting used to the uh, atmosphere. The atmosphere here. It's, this is a different arrangement than they have. How long do they keep doing this? Are you going to stay down there? Well, the four months is up. <laughs> oh, you mean on your show? No, 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 no. <laughs> After you get new ducks, are you oh, going to keep doing this for? Send the them back to the farm. <laughs> Good idea. Yeah. Uh, I won't bring them back to you. <laughs> yeah. You must be somewhat of a celebrity down in Memphis, huh? I am. That's yeah. what they say, so I buy it. Yeah, you become kind of a fixture at the, yeah, the Peabody Hotel, huh? Sure. Well, you going to stay out here in Hollywood for a little while with us? No, I'm going back home where they celebrities stand. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> you, you are the celebrity here. Yeah, yeah that's a lot, a lot of competition here. Yeah. No one, no more competition. Well, uh, uh, Edward, I, uh, I thank you for being with us tonight and showing us this, uh, being here. this uh, disciplined bird. It's an honor to be here with you. Well, it's nice to meet you, too. All right, sir. And come back and see us again. Yes, sir. Uh, can I say hello to Memphis? Sure you can say hello to Memphis. Everybody from Memphis. Hello. Hello, Memphis. Yeah. Now, when you leave... When you leave now, will the ducks follow you? No. <laughs> Why don't you give it a try? What? Right. Let's see. I'm going. Thank you, Peter. Now let's see if the duck comes. 